the nicest things about camping are hammocks. This one wraps down or folds down into this tiny pocket. It's extremely lightweight. Certainly not a bad thing to bring when you're going. Make sure your rope that you tie up with will hold your weight. This particular hammock, even though it's lightweight, will hold about 300 pounds. So there's always room for a couple of little grandkids next to me. So that's always awesome. And I too also have one of these hammocks and this is one of my favorite things to do while camping. I got this one for Christmas. I can't remember what brand it is, but it's great. These are perfect for canoe camping too because they're super compact. They're fairly lightweight. Um, and it comes in a self-contained bag. I will show you what I mean. So you just undo it here and you pull out your hammock and the bag is attached to the hammock here, as you can see. I have some rope in the bottom of here that I usually keep in there, but we've already got some ties up to the tree anyway. So it's nice, you kind of can just keep everything in here. I also have tree straps for this as well. You can kind of use whatever, um, but we've already kind of got a bit of a setup here. We'll probably do another video about, you know, hooking your hammock up to a tree and go more in depth in this at some point. But yeah, this one's great. It's got hooks on the end. So basically you can just hook it up to either side here. Straighten it out. And get in and lounge while the guys do all the work. Hopefully a spoon. The great thing about spoon carving, if it doesn't turn out, it's a spatula or a chopstick. My wife has a lot of chopsticks in her drawers at home. This is probably my seventh spoon I've tried to carve. And it's not ideal wood, but it's what's available here. It's jack pine. It's probably not gonna work out, but it's still fun to practice and play. <laughs> 